let's take a look at another application. So, um, you know, there's all kinds of applications here we can go through, but let me show you one of the best. This is Snapseed, and uh, this is one of the top applications ever made for mobile devices. It's the number one app for iPads, and, uh, and as you know, a lot of people use these tablets to take pictures, and wouldn't it be great to make them better or to stylize it? Now, I, I, could, um, I could certainly play with this a bit, and I played with it over the holidays to uh, enhance some of the photos that, that uh, we made while we are on vacation in, on Maui, but instead of doing this myself, why don't we have the creator come up and do this? Manuel? Daniel Rowe, please sit down. Thank you. This is an amazing application that you guys created. Um, you know, instead of, instead of me doing it, and I, I, it is so easy that even I could do it, but the fact of the matter is you do it so much better. Could you, could you tell people about this application sure. and uh, give them an example of how incredibly simple it is to improve your photographs and why it is that this is the number one application for the iPad? Sure. So um, Snapseat um, is something we created based on our professional imaging tools and technologies we have. And uh, we were set out to create something that anyone can use anywhere, anytime. And uh, in that context, it's great that we can also now have it here on Android. And your team Jens, has been a great supporter. It was a great experience to work with the folks at NVIDIA to get it here on Android. So what you see here is our interface. It's kind of straightforward. You have on the left-hand side a lot of tools you can pick from. I will use the drama here to show quickly how the interaction is. Because that's, that's the only thing you need to know and learn about Snapseed. Um, it's a purely touch UI. It's something we have optimized for um, and you're, looking at, you're looking at the entire user interface right now. Exactly. That I mean, there is, when I first launched it, I thought, gosh, there's either a manual, there's some drag down, there's, there's nothing. This is it. Exactly. As soon as you touch it, everything shows up. Exactly. You touch it, you move your finger up and down, you see here, mm -hmm. and you can select the parameter. And then you can go left and right to adjust it. So I go down here, change saturation, I go back, up, and you see the saturation coming up again, and that, that's all you need to know. So that's how you use now, the Now, the thing that's really interesting is, is um, these type of effects we usually do with Photoshop, and you apply the effect, and the system goes off, the PC goes off, and, and of course it crunches on it as it applies the effect. And just now, as you, were, as you were showing us this, you were literally just dragging it around with your finger, and the effects were being applied instantaneously. And, and when, um, when Manuel mentioned earlier that our engineers and your engineers work together, it's really about utilizing the GPU and the programmable shading capability of the GPU to apply these special effects in real time. Absolutely. If you think about it, not long ago, only desktops, workstations could do these kind of effects. And uh, having this now at the convenience of your, of your sofa, laying back, editing some pictures, it's a, it's a great experience. It really helps people experience photographs differently. Now, this it, is one of the favorite favorite things I did all holiday season <laughs> is the press compare exactly. before and after. This is just so cool. Now show us another example. Yeah. So another thing we have here and uh, another technology of ours is the U-point technology. It enables selective editing very easily and a touch screen is almost perfect for, for, for that tool. Let me show that here on, oh sorry. <laughs> That's not a different picture. We already, made, we already improved that one. <laughs> So let's let's look at this couple here. Now, this uh, to to be frank, this picture is actually pretty beautiful. It's hard to imagine making it more beautiful. Let's see. So what we have here is the selective adjust. It uh, powers our U point technology, and U point means U point on something on the screen, and now you can influence that area that you that you have selected. So now I can change the brightness up or down. And I want to take it down a little bit because I want to wow. make the background less prominent. Change the size, influence area a little bit. You see up here, they're still probably a little bit too bright. Take that down. And again, it's the same interaction. So what you've learned before, 
up and down to select the parameter is something that you do here also. It's the exact same interaction. So as I said, you learn now, once you now know. Now all of a sudden the couple really popped. Now let's compare it. Yeah. That's really amazing. Isn't it amazing, guys? <laughs> That's really terrific. Now, uh, of course, of course uh, it, you know, the audience w would like, love to know, and, and we didn't rehearse this, but, but uh, what's next in, in, you know, in mobile photography and touch-oriented photography? You know, what, what is beyond this? Where do you think this industry goes? I think, I mean, th that is a starting point. Uh, we really see um, the power that is available to us growing on a monthly basis. I mean, Tegra 3 is something that, that really enables more than, than we could do in the past. And seeing that coming will bring more and more tools to, to the tablets, to the mobile devices. So um, who knows, uh, one day you may do all your editing here. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're, we're a good step towards that direction. We better keep making great GPUs for you guys. We appreciate okay. it. <laughs> all right. Manuel, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Manuel Whaley from Snapseed, the number one application on the iPad now finally available on the Android, running on Tegra.